Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. One more time, Emerson Nangangwa has been trending on social media for just the wrong reasons. On August 3rd, 2023, President Emerson Nangangwa commissioned the new Huange Thermal Power Station Unit 7 and 8, and this has caused a huge stir. Before I give you every single detail about what has been transpiring, kindly do all to follow Jam Vibes, please. Like this video, drop a comment, and above all, share this video with all of your friends, family members, and loved ones because you are creating awareness about what is actually happening on ground. Amid a pomp and fanfare, Nangangwa proudly and confidently declared that Zimbabwe's perennial power crisis had finally come to an end. This was after the country was endured up to 20 hours of daily power outages in some areas. An excited Nangangwa bragged that load shedding was now a thing of the past and went as far as to sarcastically challenge all those people whose meat was rotting in their fridges because of power cuts to come forward. Well, almost immediately after August 23rd and 24th harmonized elections, the dreaded power cuts returned with so much vengeance. It became clear that the brief lull and country went through without experiencing any load shedding in the run-up to the crucial election was nothing but a ruse. The nation is largely in darkness. Zimbabweans were in fact full-heartedly made to believe for a minute that the ruling ZANU-PF party was sincere and had abandoned its tricky and chinkanery. It is quite possible that the government merely imported plenty of electricity from neighboring Zimbabwean countries, knowing fully well that the country was not producing sufficient energy for its domestic needs. This actually left so many people heartbroken after discovering all of this. This whole no more load shedding ruse was just to get votes from an unquestioning and gullible season tree who believe everything this government says in Zimbabwe. Of course, some Zimbabweans had already raised valid concerns over the numerous claims by Mnangangwa's administration. I quite remember actually coming up with a video already bringing out a piece on March 22, 2023, all titled, Is Huange Unit 7 Another Big Scam and Con Job? As much as there are those who may view my thoughts and observations as too cynical and always negative at some point, but decades of relentless deception authored by the Zimbabwe regime has shaped my mindset to an extent. It should be known that people who are always skeptical and suspicious about a particular individual have good reasons for doing so. If one is at the receiving end of countless lies and broken promises at the hands of someone, they end up taking whatsoever they are told by the perennial liar with a pinch of salt. The persistent propensity to lie and deceive by the Nangangwa administration troubles so many people in Zimbabwe already. Now, the major question is, why do they have to mislead the nation solely for the sake of political expediency? As much as some may perceive this as a small, insignificant thing to be expected during the election season, however, there are always severe consequences about our actions and our words, especially those who are in power. For instance, having assured the corporate world that Zimbabwe's energy crisis had finally been resolved, what is the sudden resurgence of power cuts going to do to investor confidence? Will investors, both local and foreign, be prepared to sow their hard-earned monies in a country where what the leadership pr pronounces is not to be trusted? It was so heartbreaking listening to the Zimbabwe National Chamber of Commerce Chief Executive Officer Christopher Mugaga stating last week that business is losing between 70 US dollars and 80 million US dollars each month due to these persistent power cuts. In doing so, this may lead to increased price of goods and services because these losses are simply passed on to the consumer further worsening the already dire situation of the ordinary season tree. Need I remember anyone that, 
under Nangangwa first five years of reign, half the population have been thrown into extreme poverty, while two-thirds of the workforce earned and still earn below the poverty datum line. All this is largely because we have so many people who are actually ascending power but then again are not so competent. If those in power had been honest all along that the country's power crisis had not been averted and was far from over, this would definitely have enabled the business community to be better prepared. Who knows, maybe due to the false assurances that the days of load shedding were past us, some corporates decided to shelve any plans for alternative power sources, opting to invest the capital elsewhere, only to be met with a rude awakening a few days after the elections. Government definitely needs to show some seriousness on such critical matters as power supply. Now, so much has been ongoing already because of all of this, but then again, I don't want to be judgmental, and I want you all to tell me in the comment section what you think about this allegedly. I love you all so dearly, do also take good care of yourselves. Come back here for more updated gist and vibes.